It's the itsy bitsy teeny weeny chewini. Half chihuahua, half dachshund, and adorable. The chewini is the Mexican hot dog, right? That's right. Other nicknames include the German taco, the weenie wawa, the chihuahua shun, and the choxy. Both the dachshund and chihuahua are born burrowers. Put the two together, and you get a dog that'll tunnel under your bed covers. They tend to be very expressive. It's one of the charming things about this cross. You better have a good carpet cleaner if you get a chewini, because both the chihuahua and the dachshund are notoriously hard to housebreak. You might have some problems housebreaking this dog. The chewini was first developed in the late 1990s. Breeders thought adding chihuahua traits would minimize back problems that dachshunds are prone to. A longer, lower chihuahua with what is usually a very, very big voice. They're not a lap dog. They're full of energy. They're full of feist, and they're going to want to express that energy. It's easy to see the dogs that went into the chihuini. Those big, bat-like ears are unmistakably chihuahua. But unlike the chihuahua, they don't always stand up straight like a satellite dish. Dachshund fans will recognize the long body and short legs. Tiny and cute with big ears who likes to sunbathe them. That's your Chewini. Chewinis with short, smooth coats are the norm. They're a good choice for people with allergies. Longer-haired Chewinis are not uncommon, though. And coat colors include combinations of brown, black, and white. Just a little package of an adorable dog. And they love to go everywhere with you. That's what drew Cubby and Megan to their Chewini goo. Now, Goo may look like an average Chewini, but on most weekends, Megan and Cubby gear up for long-distance bike rides. And this mild-mannered pooch transforms into... The Great Chewini. Goo loves to ride. His favorite place is right above our shoulder whenever we're riding. When he taps you on the shoulder, he wants you to go faster. A tap means Goo has the need for speed. But gentle scratches are the way of saying that he needs a break. Goo stays safe and comfortable in a specially made backpack. Goggles protect his eyes from wind. They also make him look pretty cool. Someone told us today that they saw Goo out there riding and they knew if the dog can do it, that they can do it. <laughs> Inspiring other riders is important because these rides aren't just for fun. Megan, Cubby, and Goo usually ride to raise money for charity. Today, they're riding the Tour de Cure for diabetes research. Every rider that Goo can convince to keep going means more money raised. There are these great people that are doing all this really fabulous work for all these different causes, and we really just like to help them out as best we can. The trio's favorite charities to support are animal rescue groups. After all, Goo himself wouldn't be here without those rescues. We rescued him from a shelter just over the hill from where we live. We picked him up, and after a few minutes, he warmed up to us a little bit, and we decided he was the one. We'd take him home. It couldn't have been a more perfect match. And just like Megan and Cubby, Goo had an immediate passion for cycling. The adventures of the great Chewini continue. Cubby and Megan may not have known much about Chewinis before they rescued Goo, but they understand why this is such a sought-after dog. They're sought-after because they're fabulous dogs. It's hard to imagine what life was like before we had Goo. He's such a joy and such a uh, just happy little thing to have along with you. Goo the Great Chewini might brave the elements on his bike rides, but this dog is probably better suited inside a home. Their yappiness can be an issue in an apartment. Crossing a dachshund and a chihuahua means you're going to have a dog who's going to bark at just about anything that happens. There's almost nothing you can do about it because it is so genetically programmed into both dogs. Training can help head off yappiness. This is generally an easy dog to train, but you must start early. An adult Chewini that's never been socialized will totally freak out. The Chewini has unfortunately inherited a number of health problems. Like the Chihuahua, the Chewini has a small stomach and can suffer from hypoglycemia, or imbalances in blood sugar. The Chewini's dachshund parent also makes it susceptible to degenerative disc disease. This disorder causes the degeneration of the outer disc of the back. The disc is then at risk to rupture and can cause serious injury, paralysis, or worse. So watch out for jumping stairs and exercises that overly stress the spine, especially sort of in midlife. 
Chewinis have minimal grooming needs. Even on the long-haired variety, their coats aren't so furry that they require a tremendous amount of brushing. Chewinis do better with small families and often bond strongly with one or two people. Small children definitely need to be supervised around this dog. It could fit into a family, but it, it wouldn't be my first choice um, for a family dog. In general, the Chewini is more of an indoor dog. There are several health concerns to look out for, most notably back issues and low blood sugar that can lead to more serious problems. It's an easy dog to groom. Early training is a must to make this dog less yabby. Chewinis do best with a single person or small family. And they love to be with you no matter where you go. He makes everyone smile and laugh. Next on Designer Dogs 101, meet the crossbreed that's the smallest dog in England. Owning this lovable cabochon will improve your reading skills. And meet the designer dog of choice for Perez Hilton.